And that's the kind of thing that I want to do for people. Show them that a lot of times, the power to really change their lives lies within themselves. We've got the most powerful technological tool at our disposal, and it lies within our skull, and it weighs three pounds, and it's called the brain. Is there something happening when people are judging others and judging themselves? Is it a form of like projection, protection? Yeah, I mean, I think it's all of the above. We have been hardwired to believe certain things about ourselves and society. People who are not happy with their life, oh man. When I see somebody <laughs> judging somebody else, that's how you judge them. You must judge yourself 10 times worse. See, I'm smiling and I'm not smiling because of the pain. I'm smiling because of the consistent and overwhelming kindness I have experienced. And I have accessed the power of healing. I know without a doubt that I'm sitting here because I believe, I see, I use all my senses to attract healing. Your brain is designed for movement in every way. It's not designed to keep you stuck. It's only when you feel unsafe. And a lot of times when we're stuck, isn't that what we need to do? We need to challenge our brains to now take action. During REM sleep, the brain, as it's dreaming, puts us into a state of paralysis. If you wake up out of REM sleep abruptly, what can happen is they're partially awake, partially dreaming. They'll see a shadowy figure coming towards them and they can't move. Just as in my name. There are certain things that you hear the instruments do or you hear a voice do. I want to create music always that causes change. The music should cause a change in you when you leave my presence after I have performed. Oxytocin is the bonding hormone. That hormone also gets released when we're having sex. But what happens when we're having casual sex with multiple people time after time? We become a little desensitized to that hormone. It doesn't bond us in the way that it would before. People often don't think about is that they have some limiting beliefs around time. Well, I'm not good with time. I don't have enough time. And those mindsets, if you keep them there, you'll never be able to progress in the first place. Something people don't think they need is clarity on what's going on in their mind. When I had met Dr. Alcon and he dedicated his life to building and identifying biomarkers that can help diagnose the disease. Our goal is to take these biomarkers and bring them to the marketplace so clinicians who see patients every day can use them in identifying whether the dementia that a patient is experiencing is actually Alzheimer's disease.